Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We are at Nate Now's in Beverly Hills with my two very good friends, Simon Mudjum Dar, food critic extraordinaire, the one and only David Mendelson, grandson, proprietor of Nate Now's here in Beverly Hills. Can I say give us the spiel? Nate, who was your grandfather? Nate or Al? Or? My grandfather was Al. His grandfather was Al. Nate was his partner. Nice. Grandpa came from Russia, Toronto, down to Detroit to here. Nice. 40, I think it was like 1947. Uh, Nate retired. And then we bought him out. And it's been uh, my grandfather's ever since. And you've been here since you've been a little, a little one. Yeah, I've been here working in the back since probably eight or nine. Simon has really never been to a nice Jewish deli with a nice a Jewish few, one. No, Two I nice Jewish. Just now, I'm just interested where what kind of Jewish food it is. Is it very? Is it just like an American, or does it have real tradition going back to Eastern Europe? Or to... Well, the Jewish deli started, yeah, Eastern Europe, and then it moved over. One of the main things is the smoked salmon, yeah. which was in abundance, sure. in the, in, you know, in the East. So it was a it was an item that was there, so they used what they could, and uh, that whole thing with lox and smoked salmon came from there. And sure. the first delis came over, when the immigrants came, was New York. Yeah. So everything right. after New York, if it's not New York, is a New York-style deli. When you talk about it, because you know, people think about Scottish smoked salmon, and that originated in London with uh, Jewish people coming over from Eastern Europe, same thing, right. immigrants, and doing uh, smoked salmon in London. In fact, the oldest smoked salmon in, in Britain is, was made in London. They actually have that entire story by the front door on a plaque for the history of the smoked salmon coming over here to Beverly Hills. So we're going to eat. David's going to order some food for us, and then Simon and I are going to talk about. So David, thanks for hanging with Harris. Thanks for giving us the history of Nate Nows, and uh, we look forward to enjoying everything here. He wants to go right, we're going right to the cheese blends right now, yeah, which is I'm great. Sorry, I've got a... We're going to do it this way. This is going to rock your world over here. What makes for a good blend? What makes for a good blend, Steven? Farmer cheese. Farmer cheese. Is what it comes from, and it's very basic. It's just farmer cheese, eggs, uh -huh. and sugar. We're going to make him an honorary Jew, because by the end of the day, he'll have said schmear 20 times, schmear. right? This is a Nate Now's cheese blends. You know, it's got that crispy outside, and then it's so warm and sweet on the inside. I love it with the with the schmear there. I said it again. <laughs> with the there's, schmear. There's no stopping me now. White pepper, garlic, and, and salt. That's it. It oh, is an cheese. absolute perfect. Yeah, we don't mess around. Look. Potato pancake. You could take all the five-star joints in the world. And this comes down to potatoes, onions, For salt, and garlic. pepper. I have a rare moment of silence. It is a rare. At Nate Nows in Beverly Hills, we're getting, you never get a moment of silence out of Simon, and this will be it right now. That's great. Crunch. It's, it's yeah. delicious, right? We're going to get into the chopped liver here at Nate Now's. You, go, oh. you should have a little bite of that chopped liver before we wash it down with a hot dog. Right. It just has to be made with schmaltz, doesn't right. it? It has to have that fat in it. I had some where people are trying to use modern stuff. You've just got to go. Yeah, this is if you want to be healthy, so good. Don't eat chicken liver. Yeah, if you want to be healthy, don't eat chicken liver. Or the hot dog, or the corned beef sandwich, you know, or the herring. But we're not talking about that right now because we're eating. The way I like we, it is scored, boiled, and grilled. That way it just doesn't blow up. But right. it has the char the charring and a, and and a thorough this cooking side. Scored, this boiled, and grilled. This is the famous Nate Nows hot dog, which we are going to devour beef, right all now. All beef hot dog from Chicago. That was the size we've made specifically. It's like our spec. Yeah. This is the famous Nate Nows hot dog. I'm going chopped liver with onion. The pot. Flavor. The flavors are my favorite. On it. You need that little crack when you bite it. You really get the crack when you bite into you the dog. You have to have that for a good hot dog. Delis have always been a melting pot for celebration and commiserating. So. My big family is sitting around the table. Yeah. It all, this one all started with the local with the <laughs> writers back in the 40s and 50s, comedians and the writers, and you couldn't stay at the table unless you had a joke of the day. Ah. Pretty much in the middle. Which is you would have been right at home. I would have been right at home. I'm right at home right now. Let's get a Dr. Brown's. What's a Dr. Brown's? What's a Dr. Brown's? There was a doctor that uh, <laughs> back in New York made a... A celery was the first one. It was a celery mm -hmm. flavored tonic kind of soda that helped with indigestion. Okay. We're at Nate Now's, the best deli in Los Angeles, the best deli in Beverly Hills. Hang with my two very good friends, David Mendelson and Simon Mujumdar. Well done. Cheers. Thank Thanks for hanging with Harris. It's been a real honor. This has been amazing. We've ate it all, and now we're washing down with a little cream soda. Oh, yeah. I'm getting into my into my zone. He did a colon cleanse last night. Did you do the acai cleanse before you ate all this? You really get the crack when you bite into yeah. it.